In this video, we will manually create the required user groups and policies in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for Oracle OS Management Hub. If you're just getting started with OS Management Hub, then the Policy Advisor tool is the recommended method. However, if your tenancy has specialized security needs or requires more restrictive access to OCI resources, you can configure OS Management Hub policies manually. Before we jump into the manual method, Let's quickly cover the Policy Advisor and what it can automatically create. The Policy Advisor will create two user groups, an Administrator group with Manage permissions and an Operator group with Read permission. The Required Dynamic group that identifies the instances that will be managed by OS Management Hub and the OSMH policy which contains all of the required policy statements for managing operating systems located in OCI, in supported third-party cloud, or in on-premises data centers. The Policy Advisor must be run in all compartments where OS Management Hub will manage instances and resources. To learn more about using the Policy Advisor, review the Policy Advisor documentation, and view the Policy Advisor video. To set up IAM policies for OS Management Hub, we must first identify administrators as an administrator group. Then, we will create a dynamic group that includes the instance resources that OS Management Hub will manage. And then we will create policy statements that allow the administrator group to manage and operate the service and allows the dynamic group of resources to register with OS Management Hub. Let's begin with navigating to the Groups page to create our administrator group. If you do not have Identity with Domain set up, then open the navigation menu and click Identity and Security. Under Identity, click Groups. If you have Identity with Domain set up, open the navigation menu click Identity and Security, and then under Identity, click Domains. Select your domain, and then on the left-hand side, click Groups. On the Groups page, click Create Group. Give the group a name and a description. Note the group name as we will use it in our policy statements. Select all users to be added to the group, and click Add. Now that we have our administrator group created, let's create the dynamic group that includes the instances that OS Management Hub will manage. Navigate back to the Identity menu, where we selected Groups, and click on Dynamic Group. On the Dynamic Group page, click Create Dynamic Group. Name the Dynamic Group, and give it a description. Go down to the Matching Rules section. Rules define what instances become members of the Dynamic Group. As new instances are created or registered that meet these rules, they are added to the group dynamically. Let's add the rule that is used for adding OCI instances first. This rule could be interpreted as any instance with the defined compartment ID should be included in the dynamic group. Inside the brackets, we could list out more than one compartment if your OCI instances reside in multiple compartments. We would follow the syntax of instance.compartment.id equals the compartment OCID with each compartment or subcompartment separated by comma. The Rule Builder is a tool available from the console to help you write matching rules. The Rule Builder provides menus and text boxes for you to make entries and then writes the rules for you. The Rule Builder does have some limitations, so you can't use it for all cases. The Rule Builder can help to build this rule. Click Rule Builder. Select any of the following, and then in the first pull down, select Compartment ID. In the value field, you would paste the compartments OSID. You can do this several more times to include multiple compartments. The any condition should only be used with rules that would include OCI located instances. Now let's add a new rule statement for systems that are located outside of OCI, like in on premises data centers or third party cloud. During registration of non-OCI systems with OS Management Hub, a management agent resource is installed and a compartment is identified. These rule statements use those variables and the all condition to say, all resource types that equal management agent and are located in the compartment with this OSID should be included in the dynamic group. Unlike in the any condition example, the non-OCI rule statements must only contain one compartment per rule. And while we could use the Rule Builder with OCI rules, the Rule Builder does not work with other resource types. You can find dynamic group rule statement templates on the policy page of the OS Management Hub documentation. 
If you're managing instances in OCI and outside of OCI, these statements can be combined. And before you create the dynamic group, make sure that the match any rules defined below is selected. Now that we've gone over the rule syntax for OCI located instances and non-OCI located in systems, let's take a look at an example with multiple compartments and locations. The first line addresses all OCI located instances and says, any of the following instances that match the compartment OSIDs of tenancy, dev, test, and prod should be included in the dynamic group. The next four lines address one compartment each and say, all of the following resources with the type of management agent in the compartment with the matching compartment OSID should be added. This example combines both OCI instances and non OCI instances that are located in the tenancy and three other subcompartments. It is a best practice to reuse existing dynamic groups rather than adding the same resource to multiple dynamic groups. OCI has a limit of 50 dynamic groups, and a single resource can be a member of five groups. And dynamic groups do not have inheritance. You must explicitly list compartments and subcompartments in the matching rules. Before creating these dynamic rule statements, we're required to know the OSID for our desired compartments. So let's quickly review where we can find that information in the OCI console. Open up the navigation menu and select Identity and Security. Under Identity, click Compartments. If we hover over a compartment OSID, we can copy its OSID to paste in our rule statements later. Now that we've created our administrator group and defined our dynamic group of OCI instances and or non-OCI systems, let's create the policies that will grant them permission to use and register with OS Management Hub. Open the main navigation menu, select Identity and Security. Under Identity, click Policies. Click Create Policy, name the policy, and give it a description. On the Policy Builder, toggle the Show Manual Editor to On. Let's create a policy at the tenancy level first. The first line allows the dynamic group of instances and systems that we just created to interact and register with OS Management Hub. In this example, we would replace the angle brackets with the name of the dynamic group that we just created. The second line gives the administrator group permission to manage OS Management Hub resources. The verb manage is the highest level of permissions for a resource, so users in the administrator group can update, create, and remove those resources. Replace the angled brackets with the name of the administrator group. You can stop there if you're only managing OCI instances and want a broad tenancy level set of permissions for administrators. If you are also managing systems that are located outside of OCI, then let's include the following statements. These two additional lines let the administrator group manage the management agent and its install keys in the tenancy. The management agent and its install keys are required for registering systems outside of OCI. This policy will cover a broad tenancy level set of permissions. Let's now review a compartment level policy statement that restricts users to a compartment or its subcompartments. You will notice that in these four lines, the only difference from the tenancy example is the location. The location switches from in tenancy to in compartment, compartment name. There are some additional degrees of permission that can be added to a policy. Let's look at the syntax in this example. In this example, the dynamic group and resources are limited to a specific compartment called dev, and the administrators are restricted to the read-only operation on registration profiles and software sources. These administrators are still able to manage all OS Management Hub resources in the dev compartment and management agent resources in the dev compartment. To learn more about OS Management Hub resource types, policy verbs, and possible combinations, consult the documentation on OS Management Hub policies and OCI policies. <laughs>